Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Molly. I'm Ash Molly, and today we're gonna be making one of my new fall favorites. It's quite the mouthful: an iced pumpkin spice dirty chai latte. But I'm gonna up the ante for you guys today. My friend Alex Mojica over on her YouTube channel is also gonna be creating one of her favorite fall recipes: an iced salted maple americano. Today, we're both gonna be using the capsule of Altissio for its creamy, dark texture. When you guys are finished watching this video, you can head on over to Alex's channel. I've linked it down in the description below for you where you can like, comment, and don't forget to subscribe to her channel. Drop a honey emoji in her comments so I can know you were there. Don't forget, you guys can find me over on Instagram at Maison Molly. I'd love to connect with you there as well. We do a lot of daily coffee content, and if that's something you'd like to see, you can find me right here. Let's make an iced pumpkin spice dirty chai tea latte. So guys, for our fall drink, Alex and I have both decided to use the Nespresso Single Shot of Altissio. I love Altissio. Whenever I want a rich, full-bodied espresso drink, I like to use this one. I think that this pot is going to be perfect today for my iced pumpkin spice dirty chai tea latte. That is quite the handful. Like, it's such a long name, but I'm sure it's going to be such a good drink. Now, this drink, it's pretty easy to make. I'm going to show you guys how I brew the tea, and then we're going to assemble it, and we're going to give it a taste test. Let's get into making this dirty chai tea latte. So we're going to be using this Tazo pumpkin spice chai tea. I found it in Target. The aroma is amazing. Definitely recommend it. Super easy. I'm going to take three tea bags and place it into my measuring cup. And then I'm going to pour about 12 ounces of hot water over it. We're going to allow this hot water and tea bag mi mixture to sit here for about, I'd say, five minutes or so, just so that it can steep. Alrighty, we've got our steeped chai tea. I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bags and chill my tea for, well, as long as it takes to be chilled. <laughs> now that my chai tea is completely chilled, I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my milk mixture. For my pumpkin milk mixture, keeping it super simple, I'm gonna be using the Silk Extra Creamy Oat Milk and the Tarani Pure Made Pumpkin Spice Syrup. I really do love this syrup. It smells a lot like, mostly like pumpkin, a little bit of spice. I'm not really crazy and heavy on the spice, so I've tried this one and I'm actually really, really loving it. Let's make our milk mixture. As mentioned, today I'm gonna to be using my Silk Full Fat Extra Creamy Milk Oat. I love this one. I did pour about a third of a cup of milk into my measuring cup, but honestly, I only needed about two ounces. Next up, we're gonna pour in my Pumpkin Spice Tarani Pyramid Syrup. Again, absolutely love this stuff. If you guys haven't tried it yet, I strongly suggest that you do. We're doing two tablespoons. And we're gonna froth it on the cold setting. I'm actually gonna run it through the frother two times just so it's extra creamy and boomed. Now for the final step, let's brew a double shot of Altissio.
time to assemble our dirty chai tea latte. So you can use, of course, about four to six ounces of tea. Here I used about five as I have a 12 ounce glass. Then gonna follow up with my froth milk. Doesn't that look delicious, guys? <laughs> Of course, no dirty chai tea latte would be complete without my double shot of espresso. And there we have it guys, a pumpkin spice dirty chai tea latte. Oh man, this is super full. Very excited to give my pumpkin spice chai latte a try. I'm gonna add a little bit more pumpkin spice Ronnie Pure Made sauce. I really like this one. If you guys don't have it, you definitely need to pick it up. Um, trying my hardest not to spill this. I've got a straw. Alrighty, here we go. It's spilling regardless, but here we go. Um, let me just drink some. Ooh, that's really, really, really good. Like, let me mix it a little bit now that I've spilled some. Let's see, my goodness. Yeah, guys, really liking this. Favorite things about it, you definitely taste the tea. Um, which is really refreshing, makes it a very refreshing drink. Of course, you've got your espresso shots, nice and creamy. The taste of pumpkin spice. I love this Tarani pumpkin spice syrup. I would say if you're like me and it's fall time everywhere else, but not quite in San Diego. This is the perfect drink. It's iced, it's refreshing, but you still get all of the fall feels. I'll be sure to link this down in the description box for you so that you can also make your own pumpkin spice chai tea latte at home. You guys can also find Alex's iced salted Americano down in the description down below. Don't forget you guys, head on over to her YouTube, click like, subscribe, and drop a honey emoji so that I can know you were there. Don't forget, you guys can also find me over on Instagram at Maison Molly. It would be my pleasure to have you there. As always, guys, thank you for hanging out with me on Maison Molly, and I'll see you guys next time. It's a pumpkin spice for me.